And so he literally says, oh, people are all worried about increasing their testosterone. But really, it's boring stuff that your mama told you. Yeah, it is. Listen to your mama. Our mom's no best. <laughs> Coach Greg, and in today's video, I got to set things straight. Vitruvian Physique is presenting misinformation telling you all he might need to go on HRT when in fact it's the exact opposite. For a guy who just competed, it's shocking that his testosterone levels were this high. If I'm still not seeing my levels kind of get back up to average, let alone back up to optimal, then yeah, this is something I may have to seriously, um, look into. No you don't. You shouldn't even be considering it. And so I'm sick and tired. All these fitness influencers going on YouTube saying, Wah! My testosterone levels aren't high enough. I need HRT. You don't need it. You're not even close. And don't take my word for it. We're going to watch your video, respond, and hopefully Derek, more plates, more dates, does the same thing. And frankly, I thought Vertruvian Physique was highly knowledgeable about testosterone and so on. But in this video, he reveals he doesn't know anything. He probably Googles it, learns it a little bit right before making a video, makes it appear that he's highly knowledgeable. And so his total testosterone, even while on prep on a diet, it's always been really high. And he was frankly bragging about it. He says so himself in this video. And nothing wrong with that. And so perhaps he has really good genetics, he can handle the diet really well, and his testosterone levels are still high. Most other competitors, when they diet down on a starvation diet, hardly eating anything, their testosterone levels plummet. There is another number which up until now, honestly, I never really paid that much attention to. Despite the fact that it was actually right there all along. And so with a guy who's supposedly highly knowledgeable about hormones, who's been getting his blood work done year after year, would it make sense that every single year he simply ignores the data that's right in front of him? I mean, come on, Vitruvian. All of a sudden, suddenly out of nowhere, you're now concerned about your SHBG? This is SHBG, its ability to bind testosterone, the main male anabolic hormone responsible for... And so is this the first time you researched on Google what SHBG was? Because frankly, if you've gotten your blood work done and you're highly knowledgeable, how could you not already know this? I mean, after all, all you watching this, you guys all assume that Vertruvian Physique was highly knowledgeable about hormones. Did you not? I did. I frankly thought he's a smart guy. Which not surprisingly, we refer to as total testosterone. That's all you usually need to look at, which is why so many videos here on social media, we tend to focus on that number. And Vertruvian is 100% correct. The majority of videos, doctors, they all talk about your total testosterone. How much is it? 700 nanograms per deciliter? 800? Is it 1,000? Wow! Oh, it's only 200. That's not good. Even many doctors and endocrinologists, when they requisition blood work or like lab analysis for their patients, usually that's all they you know really need to look at. And so unfortunately, doctors, you think they're all geniuses that they know better, but oftentimes they just look at your total testosterone. That being said, in certain cases, it actually might not paint the entire picture. And unfortunately, I may actually be one of those cases. No. I feel like you could end the video right now. No. But people, they need to understand this. See, the problem is if a man has overly high SHBG levels, he may, as a result, have somewhat decreased free testosterone levels. Vertruvian physique is in no way a candidate for HRT just because he has higher than normal SHBG. It's not even close. My number was 61. And so perhaps he hasn't had a chance to talk this over with his doctor. Perhaps Vertruvian just doesn't know better. And so I'm going to give him some answers to his questions. And let's be serious here. Normal range is up to 57 and he's at 61. He's just slightly above the normal reference range. A little bit over. But his total testosterone, it's way above average. Way above average. And so what does the body do when it has too much total testosterone? Well, it increases SHBG. The body wants to be in homeostasis and it has too much total testosterone. Well, it binds some of it up. Think of it. When you're driving your car, you might have 50 liters of gas in it, but it doesn't all go into the engine at the same time. A little bit goes in. You wouldn't want to flood the engine with 50 liters of gas all in one second thinking, wow, I'll rise a thousand miles an hour. It doesn't work like that. And so the body, it's smart, intelligent. It regulates how much free testosterone it actually needs. And is his free testosterone low? No. It's not even low, and the guy was just on a crash diet. And so I fully expected watching this video that Vertruvian Physique was going to say, hey, I was on a crash diet, my testosterone levels are really low, but I don't need HRT 
because that would be silly. I know why it's low. I just crash dieted. And so anyone, and I repeat, anyone that has testosterone levels as high as Vertruvian physique and thinks they need HRT, well, you need to get a second opinion. And so he flashes his blood work results on the screen. He doesn't talk about any of it, but I press pause and notice vitamin B12 high. 664, top of the reference range, 652. Notice he's not panicking. He's not freaking out. He's not saying, oh my goodness, my vitamin B12, it's too high. It's not in the normal reference range. What am I going to do? And so he's cherry picking SHBG as if it's so high, as if it's ruining his health, as if he needs to lower it or else, oh my goodness, I won't function. Have you ever seen him complain about not being able to build muscle? Does he not seem to be functioning at an optimal level? The guy just finished a crash diet, has a ton of muscle, clearly got second place in classic physique. And so if you're considering getting HRT, you have to ask yourself, are you experiencing symptoms of low testosterone? Does he have a, a horrible libido? Can't sleep, brain fog. And even if he did, is it from the crash dieting? Could it be solved by getting in more nutrients, increasing sleep, decreasing stress? And so that is what he should be promoting, not trying to say, oh, maybe I'm needing some HRT. And so let's see his numbers. What is his total testosterone? Well, it says 26.4 nanomoles per liter, but let's convert that to something you know, nanograms per deciliter. It's 760. 760. It's higher than mine, and I'm on HRT. It's almost suspiciously high. He just finished a crash diet. How is his testosterone levels this high? You would think he was already taking ashwagandha, Tom Canley, for ojagrestis. How is his testosterone levels this high? Perhaps he has the secret diet, the magic. Perhaps he just has the genetics to withstand a crash diet while maintaining such amazing testosterone levels. Does anyone think that this looks like somebody that needs to take HRT? If we look at the overall SHBG levels, they would actually be normal if I was an 85 year old cookbook man. Stop cursing Vitruvian. You're making it look like, oh, it's so high. Oh my God, it would be normal if I was an 85 year old cookbook man. Oh my God, poor me, I need HRT. Come on, you need to eat a healthy diet. You need to stop crash dieting. You need to stop competing. If you're gonna be whining this much. Oh my God, my SHB is so bad. Why don't you do something about it? Eat more, stop stress, sleep enough, take some boron, use an over-counter test booster, and stop acting like, oh my God, this is shocking revelation. You've seen this throughout the years. You had this in the past. It's not like every other test you had low SHB and suddenly it went up. And so it's been consistent from test to test. You feel fine. And that's why I hate it when people overanalyze a study's information. Problem is people get a bit of information and they start going crazy. They start overanalyzing it, nitpicking every single detail. You're feeling healthy, you're fine. You have really high natural testosterone levels. And so your body's saying, well, we don't need that much. SHBG goes up a little bit. And so your free testosterone, the kind your body's gonna need, it is what it is. It's plenty, you feel good. And if you want it to go up, try eating more, try not starving yourself, try not getting to single digit body fat, which I know you know is not good for you. I know you know it's not healthy. Despite the fact that it was actually right there all along, hiding in plain sight, and this right here, it's actually kind of a problem. Really hope Derek can make a video talking about this because people are gonna say, oh, you don't like Vertruvian. You're just doing this because you guys have a beat. No, I'm not. I don't care what I think about someone. I'm trying to educate the viewers so they can actually learn something. However, next up, when it comes to free testosterone, things were a little different. This came out to 344 picomoles per liter. And so what are his free testosterone levels? Well, they're in the normal reference range. They're not even below the norm. And he just finished a crash diet. People are always kind of looking for the, the secret for how to like boost their testosterone. It's like the boring stuff that your mom told you when you were like six years old. Get good sleep, get good nutrition. Yeah, it is. Listen to your mama. Our mom's no best. Is there something wrong with listening to your mom? Get plenty of sleep, eat proper diet, don't overtrain. And so Vertruvian, take your own advice, or in this case, the advice of your mama. Exercise, stress management. Uh, if you're overweight, weight loss, just really kind of like standard stuff. That being said, that doesn't really apply to me. Oh, that doesn't apply to me though. How does it not? You just did a crash diet. Your body thinks you had an eating disorder. You're not giving it enough food. You are starving yourself, doing tons of cardio, stressing your body out. And so what does it do? It fights back, increases SHBD, lowers your free testosterone, and then you complain, wah, I need HRT. 
No, you need to listen to your mom. And unfortunately, looking into the cause of high SHBG levels in men, this kind of proved to be challenging. Oh, it's challenging now. Oh, it's so hard. I have no idea how I could increase SHBG. I mean, I've had a fitness channel for nearly a decade. Oh, but what would I know about SHBG seeing I have seen that stat every time I've gotten blood work? Really? I found a decent amount of science and, you know, stuff about uh, low SHBG. And so let's try right now. I'm going to Google causes of high SHBG because you got to be a rocket scientist to be able to learn this. I'm sure. And remember, I have no technology skills. I don't even know what I'm doing. Higher levels of SHBG may be beneficial. Oh, wow. It can actually be beneficial because SHBG binds to estrogen, thus reducing the ability of estrogen to promote cancer growth. Also, SHBG may impact cancer growth directly. Wow, so high SVG could in fact lower your cancer risk. Wow, and so you see how quickly you can learn anything? High SVG, well, maybe I won't get cancer. Low SHBG, well, maybe I'll have higher free testosterone levels. But low SHB, that's also not good. And so depending on what you're looking for, what you want to find out, well, that's going to give you the answers you're looking for. Boron in plasma increased significantly following hours and weekly consumption. Six hours supplementation showed a significant decrease on SHBG. Wow, and so how long did that take me? If you supplement with boron, it can have a significant decrease in SHBG. Wow, that was so hard to find out. You at least need a master's, probably a PhD, to discover what you need to do if you have high SHBG. And so is it really that hard? Did Vitruvian Physique have to spend 16 days researching this? Or could in five minutes any of us research what to do with higher SHBG levels and made a video about it? I found a lot of stuff about SHBG levels in women who are trying to conceive in regards to pregnancy and fertility and all this stuff. But my situation of like high SHBG decreasing free testosterone for the purposes of muscle building it was a little bit difficult to track this stuff down. And isn't it funny how he's been natural all these years? Oh, I'm so much against people taking PDs. That's such a bad thing. What moral standard do you have? Yet the minute he has a little bit of a problem, oh, maybe I need HRT. You see that? The last two on this list though, they may be kind of more of the, the usual suspects. Uh, stress and malnutrition. Oh, I wonder if maybe, just maybe this might apply to me. Stress, doing a competition, dieting, doing YouTube videos, working, trying harder than last time to make a decent career. And what about the training? Well, I was doing multiple hours of cardio while on a diet, training every single day, but no, that can't apply to me. It only applies to triathletes because they train so hard. Don't think that really pertains to me because those studies usually were dealing with marathon runners and like triathloners, if that's a word. Really? How is training for a bodybuilding competition so easy in comparison to doing a triathlon? And frankly, it's harder. I've done both 13 years of triathlons. And so had you just listened to your mama, you wouldn't have needed this. You wouldn't need to study this. You would have known, oh, I just need to eat more, decrease stress, go to bed on time. But no, I'm not going to listen to my mama. I'm going to get my blood work done for years. And finally, after several years, I'll finally look at SHBG, discover what it is, study for an hour, find out why my SHBG is so high. And then I'll make a video talking about how to lower it. Really? This makes sense because I did just get off a contest prep. And actually when I did this blood work, I was actually still on my contest prep. You think he needs HRT? Raise your hand. I don't see one freaking hand raised. And there's 100,000 people watching this video. No one's raising their hand. And so yeah, this is Rob Room. I can see out there. Ray, Johnny, Jimmy, Billy Joe. Oh, hi everyone. How are you doing? We're John and Margaret. Just like Romp Room. Remember that show from... No, you don't because you're so freaking young. I remember you used to love that show. They actually said my name Greg once and she saw me. Don't tell me otherwise. Number one, the most aggressive and kind of interesting solution would honestly be TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. I think that this combined with the fact that like, look, I'm not old. I'm not like, you know, sitting here in my... Oh, because now I'm not old, but I'm over 30. And so this, it shows I'm a candidate. Really? Does he actually think this? Is Vertruvian really saying that this shows he's a candidate for HRT? Even in Canada, which is usually a much more conservative country with regards to this stuff. Name one doctor in Canada that would consider giving you HRT based on these results. Name one. I'm not saying this arbitrarily. Name one. Write it in the comments section. 
Because I want to contact this doctor and ask him, what's wrong with you? Number one is frankly just finally eating like a cookbook human being and not surviving on... Bingo! Bingo, bingo, bingo! Did anyone not think that that was the right information? Oh, let me make a 16-minute video where I tell you the most simple things in the world and the solution is to stop crash dieting and eating like a normal human being. And so Vertruvian, he's not an idiot. He's not a moron. He knows what the answer is. He knows it's not HRT. Maybe perhaps he's just trying to clickbait this video a certain way. Oh, I'm thinking about going on HRT. Let's see what the comments will be. Well, when you make a video like this saying that you're a candidate for HRT when you're not, 100,000 people see it and they're going to think, oh, I'm a candidate too. I need it. And we'll have thousands of people out there thinking, I need HRT. And they'll be looking for every reason to go on. And remember, we're biased towards looking for the solutions to what we think is the problem. If you think you need HRT, you're going to be looking everywhere to confirm that bias. Confirmation bias. And so that is the danger of this video. And so I want everyone who watches to realize he in no way needs HRT. Am I clear? And so I might not have the greatest tact. Yeah, I'm screaming and shouting. But I care and I don't want you to take HRT if you don't need it. And so perhaps I'm overreacting. Perhaps I'm going over the top. But this is how I feel. This is the emotions that are evicted through me. When I watch this video, and I've already watched it before and I'm watching it the second time now. And I was heated. I was going to make the video in the morning. Said, no, gotta make it now. Can't wait to talk about this video. Boron supplementation. There was one interesting study where they took men and they gave them 10 milligrams of daily boron supplementation. And they actually saw a pretty pretty quick, almost immediate, and statistically significant decrease in their circulating blood SHBG level. Derek, for more plates, more dates, his uh, testosterone- Six milligrams in the full four capsule dose. And mine has four milligrams in one serving and eight in the full serving. And so more than Derek's, but hey, I don't have a good supplement because I sold Turk Builder. Didn't Derek sell Turkesterone and still does? I think he still does. And so does that make him a bad person? I don't think so. So why am I bad? Why are we picking on Coach Greg? I just got it on Amazon though because it was simpler, easier, cheaper. I got like a two month supply of this for $9. And I'm Virtual in Physique, famous guy making thousands of dollars from this video. But hey, I won't use a test booster that's been designed to help me. Derek made a test booster. I'll talk about it, but I'm not going to take Derek's. I'm going to go and get Boron specifically on Amazon for $9. I mean, why would I want to take something to optimize my health, of which Derek spent countless months working? I'm not saying you should get mine, my G-Test. You get Derek's, of course, support who you want. I feel that Marine was a really good learning experience, someone I've talked about on this channel multiple times. He did a show, a men's physique show, looked phenomenal, got shredded, but felt like garbage. Yeah, Marine, a great example. Guy went on TRT too young, too early, didn't actually need it. Regretted decision, came off. Helped him, spoke to him in private, told him natural ways to help build muscle, felt great. Amazing. Got shit on for it, for talking to him in private on things that he could do to try and help him to maintain muscle. You'll probably watch this video and think, oh, Greg, it's such an a-hole. Yet, did you learn anything from it? Sometimes the truth hurts. Sometimes I tell people what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. They want to hear all the lovey-dovey stuff. You know, oh, you're doing everything great. You probably need HRT. Do what makes you happy. You know, if you feel you need it, then do it. No, you're an idiot if you take HRT. And you'd be an idiot for being told to take HRT. And so don't take HRT unless you actually need it. In the end, kind of regretted the whole ordeal, went off and has been kind of trying to get back to normal. And by trying to get back to normal, he means he got back to normal in only a few months. Literally went back to normal was a very easy process for him. Perhaps I helped him. Perhaps that was the difference maker. I don't know. But I can say his testosterone levels after going off HRT were in fact back to normal and even better than they were before HRT. And so he's making it look like, well, he's been struggling to try and get back to normal for a year or two years when in fact, a couple months he was above normal. And so literally, let's just be honest. Let's tell the truth. Let's not suggest people need HRT when they don't ending it here. And if you're looking for all these supplements, remember code Greg 10% off. Click the link in the description. Go to hldsups.com. Also the cookbook, training book, coaching plans by me and my team, the circle diet book. Subscribe. That's right. Right now, subscribe and click the bell button. Comment for the algorithm that helps to support me. And until next time, I am out.